Hi, I'm Jeff Johnston, and welcome to RV Straight Talk. You can submit your questions by email to jeff at rollinontv.com or by going to our website at rollinontv.com and clicking on the RV Straight Talk link. This week, our letter concerns more about RV battery usage. Keep them coming, folks. The more we can help understanding your RV systems, the better. This week, Jim writes, and this is a long note, so stick with us. <clears throat> When at a campground using shore power, does the battery need to be on? The converter handles the system well with the battery off. My thought is that a high draw DC loads, such as moving the slide out, may put excessive demand on the converter or charger. The battery should assist this high demand DC load. I'm concerned that overcharging the battery if the converter is online for several days. Well, yes, to answer the first part of the question, the battery should be connected at all times to the converter when you're out using your RV. Um, not only does the battery provide the higher amp power that you need for things that you mentioned, like the slide-out room loads or leveling jacks or that sort of thing, it also acts as something of a buffer so that the power that comes in, the 12-volt power that comes in from the converter is converted from the shore power. And in some places, shore power can be a little bit harem scarum. You know, it's not entirely as consistent. So the 12 volts that comes out of the converter isn't as consistent as the 12 volts coming straight out of the battery. The converter helps to refill the battery. Then the battery, in turn, provides power for your accessories and devices. Um, so, yes, the answer is keep your battery connected. As far as the battery overcharging, if it's connected to the converter for several days during an RV trip, no, it's not going to happen in the course of several days. If your converter does not have a multi-stage charging system, which senses the state of charge of the battery and then knocks it back down to a trickle charge when the battery is full, yes, an, an older style converter can overcharge a battery, but that usually takes weeks or months of being plugged in, like when someone's storing an RV at home next to their house and they keep it plugged in the whole time it's stored. In a case like that, you should go with something like a small battery tender, the, the little bitty uh, 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 converter that's, or the charger that's more or less just a trickle charger. So keeping it connected to your converter is not going to hurt it while you're out using it for your RV trip. Well, thanks for writing, Jim, and I'll make sure you receive one of our classy Rolling On TV coffee mugs, very similar to this one. If you have an RV tech question, send it in, and I'll get you a straight, honest answer. If we use your question on our website or the TV show, we'll send you a Rolling On TV mug like this one. We regret we can't personally answer every question we receive, but we do answer the ones we use on the show or the website. That's it for this week, and we'll see you next time.